All right, right to a Fox News alert. Dozens of rockets you're seeing right now being fired into Israel after an airstrike kills an Islamic jihadist leader in Gaza. Look. The violence now escalating as Israeli's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reveals the Islamic leader was planning a new attack. And that's why they struck. Uh, Trey Yingst is live in Gaza City with more on the cross-border attacks. So, Trey, they're shooting rockets from where you are in Gaza. Uh, they're intercepting some of them with the Iron Dome. Israel's shooting some. And you're on a building that was just struck. Well, that's exactly right. The building next to us took a direct impact from a rocket that had misfired. Our building took some shrapnel. No one was injured, but the building next door almost completely destroyed. I want to show you the scene here right now because uh, a, a rocket just got intercepted as you tossed here to me. Uh, you're going to see the camera pan here across the Gaza City skyline. Uh, my cameraman here is going to zoom in to uh, some white smoke that you see. That was where the Israeli military intercepted a rocket. And we're gonna pan up here. That white plume of smoke right there, the Israeli military is uh, firing off an Iron Dome battery. That is their missile defense system responsible for intercepting rockets that have been fired from the Gaza Strip. Uh, we did see about a 45-minute lull in the rockets that were being fired in to southern Israel following this assassination of a senior Islamic Jihad commander last night by the Israeli military. The Israelis say he was responsible for a series of rockets that had been fired into Israel just last week. We did see uh, a lot of escalation this morning as a result. What we are expecting this afternoon, though, is more escalation. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that his forces do not want to see an escalation but the factions here in Gaza have vowed to respond. We attended part of the funeral earlier today for Baha Abu al atta the Islamic Jihad commander that was assassinated overnight. Uh, but again, his forces now, after the death of this commander, are responding. You just heard off in the distance another explosion. That is a rocket being fired into southern Israel. I do want you to take a look at the scene earlier today when that rocket misfired right next to our building. As dozens of rockets are fired into southern Israel, the Israelis are now responding, striking targets inside the Gaza Strip. Just moments ago, this building was hit. There were multiple people inside. We've seen a number of injured people come out, and they are looking to see whether or not anyone is injured or killed inside the building. I did receive a text message from a senior Hamas official. That is the group in control of the Gaza Strip. That official saying, quote, major escalation expected. We've also seen a number of videos from the Israeli side of rockets impacting roads, small factories, and buildings. There are reports of light injuries there, but no casualties on the Israeli side. And right now, we are just getting a new information that another Islamic Jihad uh, fighter has been killed by an Israeli airstrike. The Israelis are now pounding Gaza with airstrikes in an attempt to deter Islamic Jihad and Hamas from firing more rockets into southern Israel. That brings the total death toll so far since this morning to four people. That Islamic Jihad commander, his wife, and two Islamic Jihad militants that have tried to fire rockets into Israel this morning.